Hello, my name is Richard Zhang, and this is joint work with Cedric Joss, Sumaya Sojudi, and Javad Lavai at UC Berkeley. Our paper studies the non-convex matrix recovery problem, which naturally arises in recommendation systems, but has a variety of other applications in engineering. So the basic gist of the problem is to express a low-rank matrix as the outer product of a low-rank factors, and to minimize the least squares loss of a linear model of the low rank matrix. So this is a non-convex problem, so in general, a local search algorithm can get stuck at a spurious local minimum, and this results in failure. So it was a seminal result in 2016 that under a so-called restricted isometry uh, property assumption, or RIP, that this problem contains no spurious local minima, and as a consequence, a local search algorithm is guaranteed to converge to the globally optimal solution. Um, and similar ideas uh, around RIP have been used to prove more general classes of problems, most importantly in uh, the context of matrix completion. So this guarantee is actually relatively conservative. To really understand what this means, it's helpful to think about a, a matrix to measure the size of a matrix using its Frobenius norm. Then for this A operator to satisfy uh, delta RIP with delta being less than or equal to one-fifth is to ask for the image of this map to uh, stretch or shrink the matrix within 10 percent. Okay. So this conservatism naturally raises the question, can we do better? What we're really asking is, does the RIP assumption, is it strong enough to overcome the inherent difficulty, the inherent hardness of this problem? And in this paper, and we have many previous authors who have tried to improve uh, this constant using a variety of different techniques, but in every single case arrive at a similar number. So in this paper, we give the first conclusive answer to this question. Um, we show that uh, beyond a, a value of a half, there exist numerous counterexamples. But furthermore, um, in the journal version of this paper, we give the first sharp guarantee that if your RIP constant is less than a half, then in the rank one case, we guarantee no spurious local minimum. So let's talk about some of these counterexamples. We have a counterexample with an RIP constant of a half. Consider these matrices here. Um, and simply running stochastic grain descent, we see that it really does get stuck at a spurious local minimum. And if we run this over 100,000 times, we see a failure rate of 12%. And we can generalize this into an arbitrary uh, uh, length n vector. And so sort of the technique we do uh, is we, we pose the problem of finding a counterexample as a convex optimization problem. Right? And using this technique, we actually prove something stronger. If you give me a ground truth, a pair of ground truth and a candidate point, um, uh, almost certainly I can find you a counterexample with a delta of greater than a half. And that's to say, uh, in practice, this, uh, once the delta is greater than a half, there's not too much we can do. What about less than a half? Right? So we conjecture in the, con uh, in the conference paper that in this case, there's no spurious local min, right? In the, in the journal version, we prove it for the rank one case. And it's sort of the, the proof technique with a bit of work, we believe we can extend it to the general rank right case. So we believe the, the statement is generally true, okay? But all this theory that I'm talking about, what does it mean for a practical recommendation system, right? So in order to answer this question, we engineered an example that, that purposely contained a spurious local minimum. And we started st stochastic gradient descent um, starting at the spurious local min and taking it further and further and further away from that point. And what we discovered was that there are many examples, right, where, you know, if you start it from the spurious local min, then you result in 100% failure, but if you start it from a random point, then you always succeed, right? The problem contains a spurious local min, but it doesn't seem to matter, right? But, but there are counterexamples as well. So in general, from a practical setting, right, local search might work, but we might just not be able to prove it. So in summary, right, in this paper what we've shown is that sort of this RAP assumption, uh, if the delta is greater than or equal to a half, it doesn't really say too much. But if it's less than a half, then we firmly believe that the problem contains no spurious local minima. Right? And from a practical setting, it's simply to say that uh, local search might continue to work, but we need to, need to develop newer tools to sort of analyze uh, global convergence and all that. Thank you very much, and um, welcome you to come find us at our poster.